And so this is a fantastic example of an area where the turf grass has not been being watered. Um, so you can clearly see, so you can clearly see where the tree bubblers are running. And although they do have the right components, there's a little bit of erosion here. And then a lot of that water is running off and down the hill. And you can see it on nearly every tree. This one up here apparently has a leak. But you can see where the green areas are, where this water is going to non-target areas. We need it to go deep around the tree, not necessarily eight feet away. I'm going to show you a different way to do this that we're using, and we'd like to be able to, uh, to show you a little bit of a better way to do this. So really the area on those trees that we're wanting to water is, if you look at this photo courtesy of the University of Nevada, if you look at that's probably about two to two and a half feet of depth where we're getting to most of the roots and usually times the, um, the, the canopy width. So it's a considerable amount of water, but the key is that we want to get that water down deep. So we're going to show you a couple of different uh, possibilities on being able to facilitate deep watering. And up there on the top, while uh, Carlos and Gerardo are uh, digging the hole that we're going to install this tube in, we'll talk a little bit about this first system. It's produced by Raccio. Um, they're a little bit um, uh, on the expensive end for, for what we're actually getting, but you can see that it's got an adjustable nozzle up top. Um, the overall length will telescope out so you can set it at different depths and then it's got this cool cap on top that if you want to you can check into that tube between waterings and see if it's, um, if it's dry or wet. Um, a comparable system that is a lot less expensive and the one that we prefer uses just a regular piece of perforated sewer and drain pipe. It usually come with pre-drilled holes or you can use a solid piece and drill your own holes. We add a one gallon uh, per minute uh, tree bubbler to it, run that through the side, and then um, old Fumble Fingers here is going to go ahead and lock that lid down eventually. Um, and then you have, we drill the little hole in there just so you can pull it off easy. So we've got these installed, and I wanted to show this to you real quick. So instead of the bubbler that was on the surface and sometimes running down and sometimes not, we've installed this deep watering tube. Um, you can see the water's already come up nearly to the top. On this one, we just made this out of a piece of drainage pipe. And we drilled quarter inch holes for about a foot and then half inch holes for the rest of it, knowing that as the water dropped down the tube, whatever hit the bottom first would be flowing out for longer. So we kind of graduated the hole size up um, so that uh, we got a more even watering through that. But I think this is working really, really well. The secondary benefit is that when we look down in there between waterings, I can pull this cap off, look down in there, and if it's bone dry with spider webs all over the place, we need to water. If I see water down in the bottom, then we're probably good. Here's the ratio system that we installed. Um, you can see the tube is completely filled up, so we're going to let that run for a little while longer. Um, the cool part about the ratio is you can adjust it right here. But the downside of that is you won't exactly know how many gallons per minute that you're putting out. So cycling can be a little bit trickier when you have that much adjustment. But I think it's cool. So of the two systems, um, I believe they both kind of function the same way. Um, this one's a little slicker, but it's a lot more costly than that, uh, than that one that we, we fabricated. Um, but I think they're both going to accomplish the same thing, which is to water the root zone um, from you know much deeper and less with less frequency um, so that the tree roots deeply and ultimately lives longer.